I've been a member since uh, 2015, so six years. I've been an RVAR member since 2006. My dad owned a small real estate firm in the area, and he had always kind of been encouraging me to come help out, trying to nudge me into the family business, which I resisted, as a good daughter does, and finally he broke me down, and I told him it was only going to be temporary, but then I fell in love, and here I am, still in it. I was recruited coming out of college to work with a construction group and uh, be on the marketing side of things. The recession started shortly thereafter, and my direction changed, and I ended up selling real estate full-time. I am the RVAR. I am the RVAR. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> Being involved in the RVAR, you get to see how different approaches work. Absolutely. Yeah, you've got this, this path that you can already follow. You've got somebody's footsteps that you know exactly what sort of things you want to implement based on what they've done as well. I've been thankful and really, really lucky to have people who have been involved at all levels of leadership as mentors such as, you know, Kit Hale and Mary Dykstra. The board, having Laura around, having Jim and Joe and the whole staff, it's just been great because you have a little bit of faith and everybody around you. I have been really lucky to have some pretty amazing mentors in this business, one of which being my dad, and he has taught me over the years how to build relationships and respect those relationships. I was reading the monthly RVAR newsletter, which comes out each month via email, and I noticed a little slot that said that there were a couple open director spots on the board of directors. I thought it was really important to me being a young person in a historically very seasoned agent business that the future is going to involve me and I want to be part of that form forming that future. I want to be making those decisions that will inevitably affect me. In my time as a member of RVAR and then in leadership at RVAR, I've found that the focus has shifted a lot to be more supportive of its members, even more so than they used to be, and focus on anticipating membership needs and anticipating what maybe they don't even know that they want to help their business along. Fred Hall came calling one time because I knew a little bit about computers. He talked me into being on the committee, and I got to see everything, how it was made on the inside, and I really enjoyed that. I saw there was an advantage to knowing what was coming. Uh, so part of it was selfish, and then I really started seeing the benefits that came along uh, just with relationships from other people on the board. I've learned a whole lot, but I think the most important is probably how to treat people and keep them calm in a very important time in their life. In recent times, especially because of the pandemic, and even before that, it's become so much more important to bolster each other, lift one another up, and it is constant that we're, you know, encountering these puzzles, these, these barriers in this business, and I find it so enlightening and so refreshing to see people get together solve those puzzles together, work as a team, build each other up. This has been a difficult time the last couple of years, and hopefully through it, it's been support that I have seen and needed. Absolutely. From everywhere. And getting into leadership is a big part of that too. You know, you think you don't have time, and, and arguably you probably don't, but it's so incredibly beneficial, to not only to you know the membership as a whole and contributing to that in the future, but also to you and your business and your knowledge base. It's so important. Absolutely. There's so much uncertainty. Um, and just hearing somebody else say they've been through the same exact thing is always, always helpful. And the RVAR is a tight-knit group. That's helped me tremendously. Yeah, we're our own little community. Yeah. And you're exactly right. You know, some whatever you're going through, somebody else has gone through it too. Yep. Totally agree. Here's, Here's to, to the, the next, next 100, 100 years. years. Is that good? <laughs> <laughs>